can't find Dragon. I can't find him. He's nowhere to be found. You can't forget, he's he's a mystical creature, so he can disappear and do wherever. He can go wherever he wants. He could he could literally be sleeping in that water at the bottom of the lake right now. Want to check? We should go check. Yes. Dragon. Drag. He ain't there. Couldn't find Dragon. I gave up. Me and Max are gonna play a quick game of scoot. First of all, I don't have my helmet. It's at the barn, so that's my bad. Don't ride without your helmet, boys and girls. It's a bad idea. But it's your turn. So we're just gonna play three letters. What do you wanna play? No, let's play Max. We're gonna play Max. Oh my gosh. All right, we're playing Max. We're gonna play backwards though. Sam. <laughs> I will do a uh, three T-bog. Okay, you got it. I'll step up. Yeah. Three T-bog. Oh. Ow. All right, Max, I'm gonna double tail up this set right here. This little force there. Oh my gosh, I hate you. You got that? You think you can land it? Whoa, close! It's one foot, mate. I don't know, so I'm just gonna probably throw. Wait, well, you no, know, 270 to Smith to a feeble weapon. Uh, missed it. My turn. All right, I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wall right up this wall and then two, uh, 360 out. Okay, or I guess it's 270. That's front side for me, but you can do it normal. Okay. You got it, Max. Come on, buddy. Don't forget, you can spin normal. <laughs> I will double whip drop in. Anchor for you from Ray. How did you feel about that? Oh, it's clean, mate. Yeah, nah. So just because I saw you trying it earlier, I'm going to try to do that double finger whip up that step up, okay? Yay. I got that yesterday, first try. Well, you need to get it. To yesterday doesn't matter. Right now, you need to get it today, first try. I'm warming up. Oh, he's just talking smack now. Oh, moving so hard. Okay, your trick. I will bone this in. All right, I'm gonna try a double finger rope again. Your turn, mate. How did you feel about that? In giving three you're gonna ask me what. Like you're gonna ask me every single time what, what I felt about that, didn't you? Yep. Oh. You didn't go fast enough. That's your that's been your problem all day. You're not going fast. Go faster. That, that's just not, a, that was your problem with the Mega Ram too. I'm not lightning McQueen though. Okay, I will do something you hate. Take a kickless? Camp plant. Since when do I hate that? He said he's gonna do it to whip out. Ready? It's race trip. What? Get off my driveway. Your driveway? Max just learned triple whips, so I'm gonna do triple whip up the step up. Oh, oh. I'm gonna do a John Reyes thing. You didn't even lift your front wheel up. Oh, mate. Max has got one more letter. One trick that he absolutely hates is bar spins. <laughs> so we're gonna bar spin up the step up. It's life or death right now, Max. Ah! It's life or death. Death. Don't just just don't blame it again, Scoot. It was a bad idea in the first place to ask him. Go fast, really fast. Oh. Dude, oh. are you okay? That hurt. You alright? Oh. oh. What's the punishment? I feel like there's a punishment. Yeah, you gotta try backflips in the foam pit. No! <laughs> Good game, buddy. Yes. Good job. Oh. You're just a mess today, Max. Oh, get it, get it. <laughs> so during the time that I've been here, I've pretty much showed you guys every single part of camp. A lot of the skate parks, that is. I haven't shown you guys a lot of the other stuff that there's been, um, like the paintball course. Um, I haven't showed you like the ropes course. There's all kinds of different things that we have not done yet on the vlog, but that's like what a lot of next week is gonna be saved for. But every ramp you guys have pretty much seen, except for one. And this one is, is, is special because I've only ridden it one time and I watched this ramp get destroyed plenty of times while I used to watch the Camp Woodward show when I was a kid. I remember watching this thing like, geez, one day I'm gonna have to ride that or that I hoped to. It's the airbag mega ramp. So this thing is 
so gnarly. They obviously, it's a little run down now. Um, they used to ride this thing. There used to be a huge airbag at the end. I don't know if you can really see, but down there and, and like this area, there was like a huge airbag. The thing was giant. And you would just go down, do whatever trick that you could, and obviously land and ride down into the grass. Now, usually a lot of bikers rode this thing. I know I watched Kevin Robinson ride this. Uh, I watched like Anthony Napolitan, I believe, ride it. It was way back in the day, so I can't really ex remember. Um, I think, don't, don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% positive, but from rumors that I've heard here at camp, I think this part right here, like this, this part that's like kind of not, um, cheated or anything. I think that was like a snowboard area and it was crazy because it goes down and there's like a little lip right here that goes into like a box landing and then you go into, I don't know, I don't know, quarter? I don't know. I've never seen this one set up. I've only seen this one set up and it is so gnarly actually watching people ride it. Like I said, I've ridden it one time when the airbag was set up, but a lot of times they don't really like to set this thing up because it does take so much work, but um, it's it's kind of, it's, it's fun, like it's really sick, but the fact that it's just so big and then the airbag landing is so like soft and weird, um, it's it's really hard to ride. I, I think I flipped it, I did like flip quint or something. I rode it with uh, my friend Max, uh, Max Peters, and he, he did some tricks on it, he flipped it, he double flipped it too. It's, it's crazy because you get a lot of pop on, on the top of this lip. And you have to be really careful when you go down because there's a lot of sticks because obviously there's all these trees right here. So you have to be really careful when you go down because if you step on one, you'll slip and you'll die. Yeah, it's a bummer because this is so like eaten up. This really wouldn't take that much. Actually, I'm, I'm not gonna say that because I'm not positive, but if, if I was to guess, I wouldn't think that it would take a ton of work to get this thing back up and running. I don't know what the under um, side is like. I don't know what the framing is like or anything like that, but looking at this entire thing, I think that upper area would be okay to ride down. Now that I'm looking at it from here, it looks like kinda in, in this area, like on the left, it looks like there's like a big dip, so. That would obviously have to be fixed and there's a lot of stuff but they have like these hay bales over here so you guys see these hay bales right here the reason they have those hay bales there is because street bike tommy he's one of the guys that's on nitro circus for those of you that don't know who that is he was going down like a trike right or like a kid car or something like that and he was cruising down right here and he started to get like all ski wompy right here and he launched he launched down under the ramp right here and he got wrecked i'll give you guys the quick view of what it looks like so as you can see, this airbag that used to be here was massive, and it went so far. It went like, not not way into the field. Oh, you can see the end of it actually. So just just past the little, um, like the little rolls, you can see like kind of like a little black thing. That's where it used to go to. So this thing was massive, and it was a lot of fun to ride. We couldn't figure out how to turn them all on, but we still had a great time riding it because I think Jake Hershey gave us like the wrong information when we were trying to figure out how to turn it on. Don't don't quote me on that either. I don't know a lot about this ramp. I know it's fun, I know I've ridden it once, and I know that a lot of people have done some crazy stuff on this thing, so that's about all I got. Over there, that's like the whole paintball course and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys want to see me get shot, because I, I'm going to be 100% honest, I've never done paintball before. So if I go in there, I'm probably going to get wrecked. This is the only mega ramp that I know of that's kind of like hidden back in the trees. So riding down through the trees in this thing and knowing that you're always shaded and just like, just look at that, like how, how the sun comes in through that and it, it shines like way over there and it's just, it's a beautiful scenery area. I just wish that you could constantly ride it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was looking at this thing thinking that it was like a mat for the bottom for, for, they, for where they would put the airbag. I'm realizing that this is the airbag and when I rode it last time, it was black. So um, I was really confused, but then I just realized that the black spot was like the resi part that they that they roll over it when everything's like said and done and ready to go. So this is the actual airbag. So you can you can tell that this thing is massive. And when it does fill up, it it when it's full of air, it gets up to here. Like the entire thing gets up level to where this is. So this thing is giant. But I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of done here because obviously there's not really much I can do here except for just show you guys this amazing thing. This is just like. A piece of fun. So what are you gonna do right now? Tell me. Slappy Wait. nose grind. On what? That little tiny ledge? Okay, hang on one second. Hey! Yeah. Alright, what else you got, mate? How about okay, let me let me see let me see kickflip. Just down the stairs. That's easy. First go. You did like a tray flip. Yeah, I'm trying to vary Okay, give me no comply. Down the set. We're ticking boxes right now, boys. I'll do no comply when you nose grab. Oh my god! That's such a big set. It's, it's three yeah. stair. Oh mate. Yeah. Yeah. 